we're G Global Research in this community in New York, and this is the lab where we do testing for subsea electrification. So what is subsea electrification? When you're trying to bring oil reserves from the bottom of the seafloor up to the top and then ship it back somehow to, the, to land for eventual use by people and, and factories, it takes a lot of energy. And we're asking the question, what's the best way to get that energy to those machines and bring that oil reserves up? It turns out that there's multiple ways to get that energy from A to B. And traditionally, we've been doing it using something called AC. This is when the energy kind of goes like in waves. But we've been looking at other new AC methods and also methods to produce DC, where the energy is kind of flat, just like it comes out of a battery, for example. By doing that, we think we could actually save money for the people who are producing their energy, which will ultimately allow you to save money when you're utilizing the energy. So there are several challenges that we have to hit here. First of all, how efficiently can you get that energy there? And it turns out that when you power a machine and you transport electricity, you have to convert the form and type of that electricity in multiple areas. We are trying to reduce the number of times you make those conversions. The other thing that we really care about is reliability. Because you can't just call a repairman and have the repairman go down to subsea, often to very uh, deep depths, and make those fixes. So a lot of what Rish and, my, and the team have been doing is looking at how can I do it efficiently but also very reliably. What this means, for example, is that we have to build the equipment, and this is some of the equipment we're going to show you here, and prove that if something goes wrong in one piece of machinery, it doesn't proliferate to everything else that we have in the system. So this is the actual equipment that we've designed and developed to test whether our system is both efficient and reliable. And Rishan Lai has been the, is a project leader for this program and is going to walk you through the stages of, of what we've been testing. What we are doing in the lab here is to build a demonstration system to verify a modular concept we have developed in GE Global Research. So the setup in the right hand side is basically a four converter we developed to simulate the top side power generation. And the output of this converter is connected to a subsea cable, which could be 100 miles long. So in this case, we use a simple LRC network to re represent the characteristic of the subsea cable. And then the output of the cable will be connected to a full subsea converter. So we develop this converter in a modular approach. With that, if one converter fails, it can be bypassed in a very short time, and then the rest of the system can continue to operate. And then this converter is connected to motors. Basically, this motor will, sub, will, sit, will be sitting on the seafloor and driving the compressor and motors. And all these motors and the converter will be packaged together in a subsea package. In, so at the end of the day, the key of the, this modular approach is that it can bypass the fault in a very short time and the rest of the system can continue to operate. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing how we emulate the subsea environment here on land. Please stay tuned to my blog where I'll give you additional information about what we're doing here and some of the other developments that we have going on in the research lab.